Hi, I'm Tinny from Mini Bowl Design, and it's the evening now. And I think I'm going to bid off another Elite. Now, right now, half the people watching this are going, Oh, right, I get a chance to bid on another Elite. And the other half are going, Oh, man, is he going to keep doing this? So, <clears throat> this Elite thing has kind of taken on a life of its own. I've got enough feedback and enough things that have happened here now, so I actually could probably write a book on it. And I've come to the conclusion that no matter what I do, if I bid them off here, or if I don't bid them off here, or if I put them in the store, or if I don't put them in the store, I'm going to upset an equal amount of people and make an equal amount of people happy. So, uh, nobody has asked Tinny what he wants to do, but everybody has told me what they want me to do. So, uh, since it doesn't make any difference what I do, uh, it's 50-50, I'm just going to do what I want to do, and I want to continue to bid these off. Now, what I'm doing is, uh, at the end of the day, as fun, uh, I'm sitting down and building an elite. Sometimes it takes me half an hour. Sometimes it takes me longer. But it doesn't matter. It's the end of the day. I'm doing it for enjoyment. It's a very puttery little thing that you have to do. And along the way, there's all kinds of things that can go wrong. Quite often, I'll build three or four of them before I get one uh, that makes it all the way through the process. And if you could see the process, you would understand that there's all kinds of things along the way <laughs> that can just totally destroy it. it. It's not an easy process. So, uh, I made an Elite, and I also made a carry case. This is item 35. Nice little carry case. Nice nice fitting lid and inside is item 35 and Elite just like all the other Elites now I fired this up tonight and put a pot of uh, snow on top of it very cold and it performed flawlessly uh, so there you go, that's item 35, uh, Elite 3 with a uh, carry case. You can send your bids to Tinny at minibulldesign.com and bid on item 35. And I will announce the winning bidder tomorrow night, high bidder. Uh, good luck bidding. Uh, What was I going to say? The reason why I don't want to sell these in the store is twofold. One is, if you're going to sell them in the store, you have to make a large number of them. <coughs> and I don't feel that I can make a large number of them. I don't have that much confidence. I make them pretty much one at a time and I might make one that's fine, and then when I go to make another one, it doesn't make it, and the next one doesn't make it, the next one, and then I'll get one that does. So, I don't feel confident enough to start building these in volume to sell in the store, and that's the reason not in it, they're not in there. The second reason they're not in there is, in order to put these in the store with the amount of time I have in them, I would have to charge a lot of money. And if I put them in there at what it costs me to build them in my minutes and hour thing, I would get a lot of email from people calling me a greedy you-know-what. On the other hand, the people that bid on these, if they find them in the store for half the price they bid on them for, I, they would be upset, and so would not. So that's the reason why they're not in the store. Uh, I have got bids from people as high as $100. Now, what I do when I get a really big bid like that, I just delete it. Uh, nobody's going to pay me $100 for a soda can soap. If your bid isn't somewhat reasonable, uh, I just delete it. I've done that three times so far. I got a bid 
for 95, a bid for 91, and a bid for 92 or 3. And I deleted all three of those bids. Uh, one of them, I actually didn't announce him as a he was the winning bidder by a lot. Uh, I didn't announce him on a video. I just to see what he was up to, I sent him an email telling me he was the bidder, and he emailed me back with a very, very nasty letter, calling me a greedy, you know what, and anybody that would try to get ninety-five dollars out of the soda can, well. I wasn't trying to get 95 out of SoCan. I was just feeling this guy out to see if he actually was serious. And obviously he wasn't. So next time I got a bid for uh, in the 90s, I just deleted it. And the next day the guy emailed me and wanted to know why he didn't win. He was upset, and rightly so. He bid $91, and I deleted his bid. And the next bid down was not $91. wasn't even close. So... Damned if you do, damned if you don't. <laughs> uh, what I did with that gentleman was I sold him an elite uh, off bid at a much lower price, what I thought was a reasonable price, uh, to make up for deleting his bid. So, you know, this is taking on a life of its own. And, and don't bid $100 because I'll just delete your bid. That's crazy. You know, somewhere reasonable bid. Uh, I'm just taking this money and using it just for pen money. I don't know. If I get enough of them, I might buy a, an Olympic grade pellet gun or something with it. I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, I'm Tinny from Mini Bull Design. Get out and hike. Take a friend. Enjoy the great outdoors. And more important than anything, try to have some fun today. If you get a chance, fire up an alcohol stove and boil some water for coffee. You'd be surprised how much fun you can have doing that. And more important than anything, Try to have a really great day. Bye-bye.